All right. This is a nice, or this was a nice lawnmower. I think it's a 1990. No, sorry, 09. So it's what, nine years old. Uh, it's got all the buttons and whistles. Pace walk. Okay. Moving, men moving Mentum drive system. John Deere. But it's really a Briggs and Stratton. <clears throat> 190cc. About six and a half horsepower. Hard to judge that. This little uh, engine brake was disconnected when I got it. <coughs> Pardon me. Getting a cold. Just a sec. Okay, we'll try that again. This was disconnected when I got here, but it seems to work just fine. But, the owner told me that the engine was seized. And when something comes in, you don't, you never, <clears throat> you never know. So, squeeze the bail. Just a moment. this lever up and push and then you it goes as fast as you need much like the Toro <coughs> personal pace so I'm going to tilt it on the side before we put it on the cart oh one more thing I just about forgot I did I did the basics before I turned on the camera this is not good Nothing. Nothing, honey. So that's that's not good. So it's a motor that won't turn over and it's got no oil in it. <clears throat> so that tells us a little story right there, doesn't it? I don't know why I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> that could be the best thing that ever happened to my life. Unless something's just stuck. But I doubt it. Now. The motor turns this way. I don't see any major leaking. Too hard. We're going to tilt it on its end and put some oil in it. I was just wanted to see if it, if it had any any movement at all. It's got a broken rod. <clears throat> but I'm I'm actually thinking it might be worth saving. Mm. Oh, that's too bad, eh? Okay, let's put it back on its wheels. So I think I'm going to have to 
take that motor off and do an autopsy on it. <coughs> that's really sad. That's quite a mower. Like, I'm not a fan of mowers with buttons and all and whistles, but the story behind this mower is the, uh, the guy who got it is a contractor, and the, the homeowner gave it to him because they bought it and they were cutting mm -hmm. grass in the ditch a lot, like. Out here, and we have a lot of ditches, and it's been running at an angle like that most of its life. So probably the, sl the slinger can't sling up enough oil to keep her lubricated, and now it's got a broken rod. <coughs> and you can just hear that piston hit the rod. Eh? Okay, we'll wait for Plan B. I know the furnace is going. This isn't a Steven Hamburger film. What side do we start on first? Carburetor side. I know it's not called Steven Hamburger. Steven Spielberger. Okay, let's just start having a quick look here. Maybe we'll use our favorite tool. In my trays. All right, Phillips screwdriver. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm getting the cold. No screws in the shroud. Well, there's one. <clears throat> well, that's a really nice mower to have somebody not running out of oil, eh? There. <sighs> well, I don't have to go too much farther. There isn't even any gas in it. I'm going to have a look underneath. Just wait here. Don't go anywhere. This is the Dave Ackerman jack. Ooh, that's a, that's a heavy mower. It's heavier than what I'm used to. Make sure it's not going to go off the stand. Excuse me. Whew. All right, now. If I can get the blade and blade adapter off, I might be able to get it right off. The uh, might be able to just take this motor right out of here. Oh, I think they hit some. Nothing's lining up. Okay, nine sixteen. I think for the blade. Yep. Good. All right, I'll see if I can get this 
show you what I got here. That's the output of the motor. Right there. And then there's the pulley chute to the drive the back wheels there. I want to just tap that blade adapter off of there. Before I get funky, I'm going to just use the lever. That should come up there. Yeah, that's going to... I saw a wiggle. There's the keyway there. It's been abused. <clears throat> okay, I got one, one more trick before I get the puller off. This chisel gets wider and wider. <clears throat> are you watching? Yes, you are. I'll come back when we if something happens. All right, this is what I'm doing. I got there's the blade adapter. I've got a chisel that gets wider and wider on this side, and a chisel that gets wider and wider and wider on that side. A little flashlight might help that. Well, that's really a shame that this mower is prematurely killed. There. So now you can see the blade adapter. It's been the guts juice on it and then I'm just tapping on either side with this ever thickening two big good quality gray chisels so I, I tap this one tap this one tap this one tap the other one tap them both and Space is either getting bigger or I'm just making a mess. Yeah, I think we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> I think it's come some. I don't want to get my puller out. I really don't. Right there is the only good spot. Bring you in. See that? So maybe you can watch from down there. I have no idea if you can even see that. No, I don't know. Back up where you belong. And be good.
Okay. Blade adapter. Now, there's probably a pulley and a belt on there. We gotta start taking off a few a few pieces of tin, etc. etc. Hate working on dirty motors, you guys know that. Those look like five sixteenths. One, two, three, four at least. Okay, so I'm gonna continue taking off the tin that holds the belt. Right there, 5 sixteenths there, 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 and there, and we'll see if we can pull this motor. All right, I got it. Got the cover off. Now I just have to get the belt off the pulley, and then this flange that holds the tin looks like two torques right there. So a little bit of ingenuity. <coughs> To get that uh, blade adapter off, I used my Udi on the engine. So not, not far to go now. I'm just taking the belt off. Maybe you can watch, maybe not. I don't know here. The blade should come off because all of the keepers are... Uh... We're almost there. I'm anxious to see what happened to the inside of this motor. Good. Problem one. The next problem is two torques. Okay, this one doesn't. This one doesn't have a magnet. Okay, now I just gotta get the pulley off that sucker. That's gonna be maybe more difficult than I thought. Oh, there's an allen key on it. Good! I'm gonna okay, continue on. I just have to get the pulley off that shaft. So I heated it. I dropped the tank. <laughs> and I got, a, got my last Allen key that I haven't turned into a pretzel and I used my big left-handed crescent wrench. Yes, it's a left-handed and, and something went snap and it was the Allen key. Can you believe that? Now I wonder what if there's any, anything else holding that on there. It's still hot. So now we're going to try and get that pulley off of there. Whoa, sorry. <coughs> now we're going to try and get that pulley off of there. But we can use pullers and all kinds of fun stuff now, right? We're there. We hope. I'm doing I'm doing the old uh, chisel trick up behind the pulley and it's coming. And I don't know, I can't set everything up for you to see, right? But if you look really close at that pulley. I can, I can see that it's coming, but you guys are wandering all over the place. So that's going to just pull down. I'll tap this a bit more and we'll do the other side too. All right? That's how you do it. Yeah. As long as you don't drop a 150 pound lawnmower on your head. So I'll, I'm just tapping that pulley off now and then we can take the motor out. And they said it couldn't be done. So there was only one Allen key stud on there. And now I think I can just take this, just disconnect the lawnmower. Sorry about that. Too much jerking around on this job. Okay, there's the shaft of the lawnmower. It should just lift right out of there, hey? Yeah, it's not attached anywhere. So, but before we do that, we have to disconnect the throttle cable. I think that's the, oh, and the rewind, right? The throttle cable. And the rewind. Piece of cake. Let's do that right now. 
We'll get this motor out and hit the phase two. It's still uh, up in the air whether it's going to be worth saving this lawnmower. I know it's a lovely lawnmower. Okay, that's one. And then we need to uh, take that off somehow. I think I'll just get a 7 16 nut and take the whole stud off. <sighs> I need the 3 8 socket adapter right there with a 7 16 socket. And I'm going to undo the cable for the stop. Oh no, for the start. Keep it through the hole with the cover. Uh, I'll be right back guys. You guys might as well watch. I'm just doing the three bolts that go from the frame to the motor now. I've got one. There should be one in the back. Good. And then the last one is when all hell breaks loose. Literally. So I'm going to put, the, put the, the weight on the on the tool and push down on the motor. Good. Now let's see if we can get that off of there without injuring anybody. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Take the bottom plate off that engine and see what's broken.